What's going on? I've got something really cool today that I think you're gonna like. We're gonna be talking about today's sponsor of this video, QR Tiger, and how you can utilize it for your social media platforms, your live stream, whatever you're doing on social media, how you can utilize it today and why it's such a cool, cool tool. It is the most advanced QR code generator that you can add logos into, and you can do a bunch of other cool stuff, and we're gonna talk about it all in today's video. What's going on guys, Chad here from How To Tech, the channel dedicated to helping you take your tech to the next level. And today we're gonna to be talking about QR Tiger, the sponsor of today's video, because they have some really cool stuff for your social media platforms that I think you guys are gonna like a lot. It's really cool. Um, before we get into it, I do wanna state something. One, there's a link down below, but two, something really important to do with QR codes. Did you, any of you happen to see the Super Bowl and see the QR code that was bouncing around on the screen for, um, I think it was like some cryptocurrency or uh, Coinbase, or I think it was Coinbase. Did you see that? Because how many people do you think scan that? I think a ton of people probably scan that code and just throwing your QR code around on the internet, who knows how many people are likely to scan your code and see this awesome little goodie that we're gonna be taking a look at today. So let's jump over to the computer. I've probably already thrown it on screen so you kind of get a glimpse of what you can make yours look like, but let's really dive into what QR Tiger has to offer and then we'll get into the whole customization for your own social media QR code. Let's jump into social media and let me give you another example of just like how cool this tool is. So I'm gonna click on social media and we can see that this is something that you can do with it. This looks really cool. And this would, it looks like, what is that pronounced? Encanto. Um, my kids absolutely love this movie. And this is like a good promotional way of doing this. Um, you could promote whatever it is, whether that's a movie, whether that's a project you're working on or a business or just a video or a live stream, whatever you are using, QR codes are beneficial because you can promote your social media or you can promote directly to that thing that you're wanting to do. So really cool. Some of the stuff that we're going to be able to do with this. So I'm going to go back. And you can see I've actually kind of started here. I've went ahead and uploaded my own logo. That's all I've done, I promise. Um, I've, I've messed with it a little bit, but there's some stuff that I wanna show you because this is really, really cool, the customization that you have with it. So simply click upload image and then add your own company logo or live stream information or whatever you want to use, whatever that image would be. Then we can do things like adjust the background colors for gradient. We can set a background image if we want to for me. I want to go with a color and I'm thinking a little bit more this way. That's a little too blue, or maybe not enough blue. Let's go with something. Actually, let's go with something a little darker. So maybe something like that. And then to add our text for this header, it could be like, check out our social media. You can adjust that there and you can even adjust the text color if something doesn't match. So white, in my opinion, looks a lot better there. And we can even add some descriptive information. So how to media is awesome. You should check all these links out and you can do something like that. You could put like a little bit of a biography or a little bit information about what you're doing with this page that it's creating from you uh, or for you. And you can add a little bit more information there. Now we have the ability to do something really cool, which is add in our own social media. But before we jump into the social media section, I wanna show you this uh, themes options. Um, they essentially let us adjust how these buttons are gonna look. So we've got this one that's like rounded rectangles. We have these squares. And then we have like these that aren't rounded and are a little bit more sharp. And then we have like these bubbles that we can adjust the opacity on if we wanted to. And I actually really like that. So I'm gonna keep that and we can adjust the color. If we go back to like these, we can even adjust the color of say like Instagram. If we wanted our Instagram um, to be yellow for whatever reason, we could set it to yellow you have options and that's what's really cool about this. So I kind of like this, um, let's adjust that opacity a little bit and then maybe even add a gradient on the background. So let's do like a deep purple and like a deep how to tech blue. I think that would actually look pretty cool. So I like that. 
So now here's where we get into the real fun part is figuring out what social media links or what links we want to add to this. So we can see that we can add stuff like a Facebook page, Instagram, Twitter, or even other stuff. I think that was YouTube. So we can go down through this list right here and choose what we want to go with. So if we had, for example, a Twitch stream, we can add our Twitch stream here. We can add our Twitter, we can add our YouTube. And let's just go with that for now. I think that's gonna be pretty good. There, there's actually a ton more options than I would actually think that would come standard with something like this. So props to QR Tiger for going through and adding this many different social media uh, icons and palettes for if you were using like a different template. Um, that's really cool. So I'm gonna drag YouTube up to the top and then Twitter and then Twitch. So what I'm gonna do now is just go out to those platforms and grab our links. So let's just copy. You're gonna see this in real time because I want, I want you to see how easy this is to just go there and grab your stuff. So go to my videos and that actually doesn't take me to where I need to go. So let's figure that out <laughs> and pause that and copy our link and we'll paste that in right here for YouTube and then Twitch. I think I know my Twitch URL, HTTPS twitch.tv forward slash flux underscore two D and there we go. So all these will now link out to our different social media pages. Now what's really cool is we can add in things like these popular uh, widgets that they have, they can embed other items. So if you wanted to possibly embed like a Twitch stream, I don't know if that's possible, but other videos from other sites or something that's not natively from like YouTube, you can add store hours and even meta tags. We're going to add in a YouTube widget. So let's go back to our channel here. And let's say we wanted to put in this OBS video. So let's copy this link and go back to QR Tiger and paste in our video URL and click save embed link. So now if you go here, you can see that this video is going to show up right at the top. So if you've got a video that you're wanting to promote or something else that's embedded, such as a live stream, you can put that there towards the top. And that's the first thing people are going to see whenever they come to your page, which is really cool. So all they got to do is scan a QR code and this is all the information they're greeted with. And you could really fill this out with a lot of stuff, but you could also just fill it out with the most important things and kind of strategize which places you put what QR code. So there's a lot of things that you could do with this. So now that our QR code has popped up, we have the ability to start adjusting the look and the feel of it and getting exactly what we want. So we can choose the different data patterns that we want to use. So if we want them to be um, a different style. If we wanted them kind of rounded or if we want traditional squares, we can adjust that. We can choose the eyes of the QR code. So if we want these to look slightly different or be fancy, we have the ability to do that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and add in a logo now and we'll see how that looks because I think this is going to look really, really neat. There we go. We've got the how to tech logo directly in the middle. We could also add in if we're just using it for like one social media page, you could add those logos in here or just any other social media logo you want. And now we really have the ability to customize this how we want. So I kind of like that. Um, I feel like these look a little bit cooler. Yeah, I kind of like those. I think those are pretty cool. And we can adjust our colors. We can add gradients. I am going to click on custom eye color because I have no idea what that does. And I'm curious. Oh, that is cool. Let's try to match that to the how to tech blue. See how close we can get. I think that looks pretty neat. And then we can set this to whatever color we want. Let's see. I'm liking that. And I think around those eyes, I want to go with a similar kind of gray or maybe a little bit darker. Yeah, I like that. I think that looks pretty cool. And we've added some customization to it. So now we can also choose our background color. And we can see that there is a lot of room for customization.
Okay, so this is kind of what I've ended up with with messing around with the colors, and I think this looks cool. Uh, one thing you might want to keep in mind, though, is trying to keep your contrast between the background and the data on the screen where it's kind of visible. So if you try to put this stuff as like black, it might be a little harder to read. But I feel like we've got enough difference in those two colors that we can really see what's going on here. What I am going to do, though, since this is bothering me now, since it's on a black background, I do want to copy this. So let's copy that and let's paste that here for this hex value. Um, if you don't know anything about hex value, um, this is essentially just a number letter system value for a color. And we're setting that. And now we get to do a frame around it. So if we want a frame, we can add one. We can be like, scan me um, and adjust that text if we wanted to. Or if we just wanted to remove the border, we can have a plain QR code that we can just kind of place anywhere and then add the text later in whatever program or whatever else we're using this in. So now I'm done editing, let's go ahead and click download. So done editing slash download, and it's going to give us our QR code. So here is what I think is really cool about this. We also get the ability to edit this again if we need to adjust stuff and even look at stuff like the data. So we can see the number of scans, where they're from and on what devices. So this is cool of keeping up with like say a marketing campaign and we can download these as PNGs, which are similar to like a JPEG. These are just files that um, can be added into anything. They're just a simple picture. And then the SVG is a scalable vector graphic, which means we could add this to a huge poster and it's still gonna look just as sharp as you editing on your computer. So that's gonna give you a lot of flexibility of where you want to use these QR codes. Now, if we wanted to, we can go back in and edit this. Um, I believe that's just gonna take us yeah, right back to where we were. I'm not gonna worry about that. And I'm gonna click on PNG and I'm gonna open up this file. So we're gonna pull that up over here on the right monitor and I'm going to scan it now with my phone and see how this thing looks. So I've scanned it with my QR code and it looks really, really good. I am impressed with how easy this is, how custom you can get your QR codes and how well this works for just linking out to say, clicking one button in it and it taking me directly to our YouTube channel. Um, I also sent this from my phone, the link since I can't scan a QR code on my computer, um, I sent the link over to my computer and this is what the page looks like. This is really, really nice. And the ability to have embedded video and like push people directly to where you want them to see content is amazing as well as having all your social media, maybe some information about yourself or your business or whatever you're using this for, say an event, all in one location with a simple QR code is really, really nice. And like I said earlier, with the Super Bowl ad from, I think it was Coinbase, the amount of people that scanned that that had no idea what that was, it's interesting because people are genuinely curious to see what that QR code is gonna lead them to. And for something like this, putting it on a pamphlet or something, especially with the QR code looking different, might have people asking, can my phone scan that? Maybe I should scan it and see. And then they scan it and it takes them to something that's as cool as this. And if that's something you're looking for, then this is an amazing tool because you can do dynamic QR codes. You can adjust them. You can view the stats on them. You can create social media pages like this to link out to all of your stuff. And there's much, much more functionality than just what we covered in this video. And I think it's going to be a useful tool for anybody looking for a really dynamic QR code. So all right, guys, that's going to be all for this video. If you enjoyed, you know what to do. Do that usual stuff. Hit the like button, get subscribed, turn on notifications and leave us a comment in the comment section down below. What do you guys think of QR Tiger? Because I think it's really cool and it's a useful tool for people wanting to push their social media platforms and do innovative things with QR codes that you might not be able to do from some of these other simple generic QR uh, code generators. So if you want a more advanced solution to that, maybe think about checking out QR Tiger. Like I said, linked down below. If you guys want to be like these lovely people that are on screen right now, then maybe think about becoming a member of How To Tech. We've got memberships for this channel and it gets you stuff like early access to videos, discounts on merch, community only posts, and much, much more. Maybe think about doing that and help support the channel. And once again, thanks to all of you for checking out this video. This has been Chad from How To Tech, helping you take your tech to the next level. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.